All right, in the seventh technique of the offensive Joe section, we have a, a, a cycling back action that's going to take him up to an Oshitoshi type form. As we're attacking, he's going to make a deep uh, attack with this lead hand here. He's coming in closer. And to make it easier on himself, he may want to go ahead and turn this hand over just to have a, an easier ride of what's about to happen. It'll work regardless of how he grips. But if he, if he grips in, in this particular fashion, it'll make it a little easier on his shoulder socket. We find ourselves in a very equal relationship here. He's got the end, I've got the end, he's got the middle, I've got the middle. And so we need something to equalize it. The arms are lax, the shoulders are lax, the body steps back, and this pops up and places right up above his shoulder. We have a nice shoulder locking function, and gently we push through. All right, so now let's take it from this line. I make the thrust, and this time he's basically equalized my thrusting positions. We're basically at a stalemate unless one of us gives ground. I give ground, relaxing, and this locks up right here behind the shoulder blade. If you're a little shallow when you make this same action, it can pop up and you can wind up with the tip of the Joe going into their armpit, and that's very unpleasant. So the nice deep position also allows us to control into the shoulder with less uh, chance of, of injury or problem. Uh, his wrist happens to be forward this time, which makes it more acute in the, in the, in the action of the throw. And again, Uke can mediate that whether they like the wrist here or here in the, uh, in the terms of the attack. Boom. <laughs> here we go. Up and through. Good. And maybe once like this. I'm attacking. He comes in. He makes control. Relax. And through. That forward, uh, that back step with the arms relaxed, it's very difficult for him. If, I, if we're equal and I try to struggle with the weapon, he can tell you it's a, it's a bad fight. If I let the arms just be like ropes or like chains that are just dangling here and I let my center of gravity move away, it's the center of gravity that he's trying to fight with and that's what sets up this position and this control mechanism. So that's the central element of control that you're looking for to develop in this technique. Thank you.